I finally had a company offer to send me a 48 volt inverter. I am actually really excited because right now I've been stuck with 12 volts. I can't find my 24 volt inverter. When me and Thais went back to Illinois, I couldn't find it. I think 48 volts is the way to go. I've had this 48 volt battery sitting around for the longest time, which I hope it can be the main core of my solar panel system. And I can rewire things so instead of putting out 36 volts, it'll put out 80 volts. So this is the XYZ Invent Pure Sine Wave Inverter. Looks like it's about 2,000 watts. I'm, I wish I had my oscilloscope probes to measure higher voltage because I would. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw caution to the wind and just power my main PC because it tends to freak out anytime there's not pure sine wave. It's kind of funny. Because it's 48 volts, you don't need as thick of wires, so they don't come with as thick of wires. I was getting up to absurd thicknesses with many of my 12-volt uh, systems. So I believe this is the 2,000 watt one. 85% efficient. Well, I want to test that. So we're going to be having this battery with its smart display. So we'll know how many amps are going in. And then we're going to have that measuring how many amps are going out. Oh, I hate that. Well, this isn't going to exactly work. Okay, okay, it turned off. Good, good. Good, 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 good. Got the franken pooter going. I let my, my PC settle a little bit, not all the other electronics settle a little bit. And when this is pulling 104 watts, this is pulling 110 watts. That's not too bad. That's like 97% efficient at 100 watts. Let's get a Dogecoin miner running. Now with this running and MSI Afterburner overclocking the RAM, we have 302 watts being pulled from up here while it's having 284 watts or 283 watts being pulled down here. And if I believe my math is right, it's like 94% efficient. Not too bad. Not bad at all. I did forget that I put that fan on my other inverter that would gradually move the heat. It's a little bit toasty, but that wheels in fan would be annoying if I had it here. I would opt into actually getting a little laptop fan and putting it over that fan and just having air going slowly. And then in the case of that ever not being enough, the main fan will kick in. Oh wow, I just realized it's already 1 a.m. I guess me and Thais are going to have to go to bed. Unfortunately, I've just been too busy to actually test this thing. I found myself messing around with the laptop that I found. It's the next morning. I don't have much time to be up, but let's see.
It's the end of the day. We're finally back after all this time. And I forgot to actually set the watt, the kilowatt hour function. Yeah, I don't think we used two kilowatt hours because part of this was also I was doing a test on a refrigerator I fixed at the deli. Unfortunately, I'm just too tired to do anything. I should have had the Dogecoin miner running. I'm using almost no power. This is gonna take forever, but the inverter is working well. This is a bit of my problem. I would wanna test it sooner, but I haven't even been home enough with my computer on to even test. I really should clear space at the shop to have this 48 volt battery there. I'm at the shop now and haven't had enough time. I haven't had enough time to be home and use the batteries. They're almost dead. I haven't had t enough time to be here and mess around with solar panel stuff. I'm too busy with work, but this is the solar panel setup with a poster over it. Oh, Mr. Chidaro put like this sticky stuff on this poster back in the eighties and it's just liquefied. I don't know where to put it. I need to like hang it up somewhere because I keep, anywhere I lay it, it has that sticky stuff on the back. Maybe I should just throw it away. No sense in here and you're like, what? That's, what kind of black magic is that? Well, TechCrunch will, you know, probably eventually use them one time. Uh, Wall Street analysts explain how AMD's own stock will pay for OpenAI's billions in chip purchases. See also AMD's stock went up 25%, which is a huge value to AMD. It's late at night, 1 a.m. We're at 46.5. I think that's about as low as we should go. Yeah, I'm gonna call it there. Suffice to say, I don't feel like going out. At least, well, I will be going out, but I don't feel like moving batteries and electronics in this weather. That hurricane is, uh, the little tail end of it has come over and it'll be here for a while. So I'm gonna end the video there because X Y Z Invent was asking me to upload a video quickly. Well, it's been like two weeks and I'm actually quite happy with this, but we'll do a Solar Sunday video. We'll finally get this to the shop. I'll get things cleaned around. I might sell two of my bigger batteries and yeah, this is pretty good. This, I'm a little bit excited for this. I'm, I'm excited enough to actually reconfigure my solar panel setup but I'm not sure how I'm going to do that because I want this to run my air conditioner and stuff in summer. Well, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya. And thanks for putting up with such a short video just to get me to get that for free. <laughs>